If you're looking for an APS-C super wide angle lens, then maybe perhaps now is a good time to keep your ears peeled because today I'd like to show you a lens that is both wide and bright. And it's this little lens by Samyang, the Samyang 12 mm f2. Now, the first thing that strikes me about this lens is the fact that it really feels well built despite its price tag. It is quite a pleasant surprise because other lenses with a similar focal range would cost double, if not triple, especially with that fast aperture. Anyway, it's constructed almost entirely out of metal with the exception of the lens cap and the lens hood, which is made from plastic or more glamorously known these days as polycarbonate, which I guess is fine because even expensive lenses out there make them from plastic too these days. Oh, by the way, I found that the lens cap does get quite a bit fiddly to put on, especially when you have the lens hood on. So there are times I just don't use the cap at all because the lens hood acts like a barrier against accidentally touching the lens anyway, which is a good thing. This lens comes with a click aperture ring, which isn't really optimized for filmmakers who need to change their aperture silently. However, there is a cinema version of this lens that comes de-clicked and it has the same name except for the fact that instead of having an f2.0, it has a T2.2 instead. So T in cinema lenses stands for the amount of light that gets transmitted to the sensor. It's a little bit like f-stops, but not exactly the same. So for normal film lenses, the smaller the f-stop number, the brighter and faster the lens generally is. However, T-stops is the measurement of the amount of light that actually hits the sensor after it's gone through all the lens elements. So for example, not all f2 point lenses are made equal. Even though a lens may have the same f-stop values, the amount of light that each lens receives to the sensor can be dramatically different from one lens to another. So what that means is that t-stops is more accurate in determining a brightness of any particular lens in relation to the amount of light that penetrates it. So for example, all T2.0 lenses will have the exact brightness with any other T2.0 lenses out there. Anyway, back to the lens. This lens has an equivalent focal range of about 18 mm on a full frame sensor. So it's definitely a super wide angle lens even after factoring the crop in factor. I found that focusing was relatively easy with this lens and the focus throw wasn't too long at all, which is in my opinion a good thing as I find lenses that have long focus throws to be quite difficult to focus with, especially if you're shooting videos on your own. This lens has a minimum focusing distance of about 20 centimeters and that is 20 centimeters not from the front of the lens but from the sensor itself so you can get pretty close with this lens. The good thing about this lens, despite the fact that it is wide angle, but if you do get really close to your subject, you do get an amazing amount of background separation. I find this lens to be quite sharp too in general, even if it's wide open. However, it does have some barrel distortion if you do shoot too close to the subject. Also, chromatic aberration is definitely there if you shoot bright subjects wide open, but it's definitely nothing that would be a deal breaker for me, as I guess it's pretty much expected with any lenses of this type. But if those things do bother you and if you do need a lens with less distortion, maybe it may be worth checking out lenses with lesser distortion like the Lawa lenses with its zero distortion range. So who do I think this lens is really meant for? Hmm, I think this lens would definitely suit anyone who is really out there to find a fast ultra wide metal lens on a budget. I can also see this lens being useful for those wanting to shoot interiors in dimly lit places and maybe even astrophotographers who really need a wide angle lens with a fast aperture. So all in all, I would definitely recommend this lens to anyone who is really looking for a fast and affordable super wide angle lens. To me, this lens is a good compromise between being affordable and being bright too, because usually super wide lenses with fast apertures used to be extremely expensive. But fortunately, we are living in an age when you can find good quality glass that's still relatively affordable. Anyway, I hope you found this short review useful. And if you did, please do give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe to our channel for more content Content like this. Oh, by the way, before I end this video, I'd like to say a special thanks to Robin Wong for helping me out around town and showing me great spots to snap right here in Kuala Lumpur. Please do check out his channel. He does great stuff there. I'll leave his link in the description. See you guys in the next video then.